Last time on this shit. I finally finished my big fucking stack of money, which meant I could start the construction grind. And now I can finally start tackling all these goals I still have to do in this time of extreme one chunk Iron Man. Hey everybody, long time no see. I've been busy buying bagged plants, uh, 10 per world, then I'll hop. Which is a very tedious process and also I can only do this on the total level worlds because people are buying the bat plants one to skip some early farming levels or something. Uh, this is actually a pretty good money maker. I've seen them go for like twice the price. You buy them for a thousand coins, you sell them for two thousand coins. Which is interesting but kinda sucks for me when I have to do this. So I spent 50 mil on these bad boys, uh, 23k of each, bat plant one and that tree. Fortunately, I also bought some magic trees uh, for 50k each, which was an accident, but yeah, it sucks because those are some very expensive misclicks. All right, so, but these things are expensive, holy shit. But uh, I'm gonna go and buy some more. And of course, I'm also still planting magic trees. Let's see, 78. Awesome, I need a lot of farming XP and this is a good way to do it. All right, let's see, 99 mil. So we spent over 100 mil on bad plants. And this took like a week of constant plant buying, which is, uh, yeah, kind of tedious. So I want to try my hand at doing some construction. And uh, actually, let's see how many I got in total. Uh, that's a lot of bad plants. For 100 mil, I got that. And of course, also bought, bought some magic trees, but let's ignore that. Uh, price checker. Oh my god. 50 mil profit on that if I were to sell it, which of course I won't do, but still crazy. Before I continue the video, a quick word from our sponsor. These days people have a ton of paid subscriptions and sometimes it can be a real hassle trying to cancel them. Well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. With just one tap, Rocket Money safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you. Simply by uploading a photo and tapping a button, Rocket Money will negotiate your bills for you, from internet service bills to cable and phone bills, so it's never been easier to save some money on them. Rocket Money can also help you to increase your savings. Choose the amount and the frequency, and Rocket Money will automatically deposit savings into a smart savings account, and you can withdraw whenever you want. To save more and spend less, join the 3.4 million members using Rocket Money today. I've got the hookup, go to rocketmoney.com slash limpword or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash limpword to get started for free. But before I go do some construction, I have to get some more bolts because now and again I'm still doing, you know, giant mole on stream and I need bolts for that and I don't have them anymore. Although I still have a lot of adamant, uh, which means we can make some adamant bolts, which are not as good as diamond bolts, but they should do the trick. And with some movie magic, I got a thousand bars. Let's actually make some bolts out of them. Okay, now I'm gonna fletch these bolts. Uh, yeah, when you're an Iron Man, everything is quite a process. So that's 10,000 bolts. Uh, before I get to construction, I'm gonna try my luck at Giant Mole. I'm almost at 500 kill count, so... Who knows, maybe we'll get pet. Okay, so no pet. <laughs> what a surprise, but uh, I guess I'm not even close to being dry, so I have to stay optimistic. Well, guess I'm gonna plant 100,000 back plants. Why not? So apparently entering my house here was a desert task. Totally forgot it. Uh, my house is of course in Polnivnic now, because that's the only house portal I have access to. And there's also a, a surter here, so that's nice. And holy shit, this is gonna be tedious. Okay, let me explain my little process I've thought out for doing this, so you actually know what the fuck I'm doing. So now I'm gonna get some water from my watering cans, because of course you need water to plant these back plants, which is very annoying, but okay. Uh, and note my items, and yeah. Just go uh, ahead and plant a shit ton of dead trees. And that's kind of it. So now you know what I'll be doing for the next uh, who knows how many hours. And that should be 30. Yeah. Okay, let's see what I can make. Okay, cool. 
games room, the most useless room. I guess I can build those rooms, but I can't put anything in it because I don't have a saw, of course. All right, 45. These early levels are going quite fast, which is nice. But I'm thinking that will change in the future. God damn it, I missed a level, but here we go, level 50. And this is also a good time to tell you that I've decided that I will have to deck out my house to the max when I can. So when I get a saw, I will have to make all kinds of high level furniture uh, as much as I can. There's not too much I can build uh, until I get like gold leaf and marble, which is all the way in Keldegrim. But there are still some things like in a dungeon you can make like guardians, which are like millions of coins, which I will have to make. But uh, yeah, when the time comes and we get the Keldegrim, I have to make the dreaded gold sink, which costs like a hundred mil or so. So it's going to be a challenge, but it will be nice to have a fully decked out house. Still need a steel baguette, come on. No, come on, this account is like four years old, still haven't gotten it. Here we go, 79 farming. I can now grow dwarf wheat. Uh, so yeah, this, this grind also gives me a nice head start with farming. For every 31 construction XP I get, I also get 31 uh, farming XP, of course. So yeah, uh, the Draenor chunk will be a lot less scary. Farming cape might be in the bag. Should be it. Yeah, 60. All right, we're getting somewhere. 80 farming. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, if you guys remember every chunk roll, I was shitting myself because of that three pass chunk. An extra limb ridge, and now just blowing through it. 65 and 81. Uh, for you guys, this is going very fast, but I'm getting like 13k XP an hour. This is goddamn slow. Quickly grab the net for this guy. Come on. Really want some dragon bones. Dragon bones are amazing on this account. If I ever get an altar, that is. Uh, yeah, here we go. Loot. Snapdragons. Okay, that's good. Uh, you can never have enough of those, I think. So in that last clip, you might have noticed I was not on fixed mode anymore. And that is because uh, people in my Discord have helped me devise the ultimate construction strategy uh, in which I can just hold the spacebar and spam click and I will plant trees like this. Uh, I can go a lot faster than this, but this was kind of demonstration. So yeah, I'm using one click mouse mode and I've mapped the one key to my spacebar so I can just hold it. And by holding my mouse to the edge of the screen, the build and remove option are in the same place. So I can just keep my mouse fixed and kind of just spam click, to be honest. So I went from like 13k an hour, 12, 13k an hour to now 16 to 18k an hour, which is absolutely huge. This uh, saves me so much time. And yeah, it's of course a lot more relaxed. I can just, you know, watch Netflix or something. Uh, so thanks to the lads in the Discord, this is a huge help. And I feel confident that I can actually finish the construction cape before the end of the year. Also, 70 construction. Here we go. 83 farming, which is an interesting level because now I can plant spirit trees. And you can actually plant one in your POH, in the superior garden. Uh, which is interesting because I don't have the tree gnome village quest. So I don't know if I even can plant it, but I guess I have to deck out my house, so I might might try. Uh, but not yet. Uh, spirit trees are spirit seeds are quite valuable. And I don't have a lot. I think I have like seven. And it would be kind of yeah, kind of a waste to waste them on construction. You get like 300 XP per spirit tree. So it might be better to just plant them in a spirit tree patch when I get one. Here we go. They call me Limpert, the backed plant machine. 75 achieved. Stats are looking beefier by the day. 85 farming. My god, that's high. <laughs> Oh, I can grow torstols. That's interesting. Uh, because if I roll this chunk, the cabbage patch, then I can just... Yeah, I only have to plant some torstols and then I'm done. Uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah, oh, and also a spory seed. Those might be useful in the far, far off future. And here we go. These are the last of my backed dead trees. Uh, 46k of them planted and now they're gone. 
<laughs> that's like a 50 mil embedded plants. So now I'm gonna get my stack of 46k backed plants one, and yeah, the whole cycle is gonna start over again. But of course, now I have a much better strategy to actually plant these. So those backed plants one will probably go a lot faster than when I was doing the dead trees. Let's grab them, 47k even. Uh, yeah, let's go again. Mystery box, let's see. Ooh, lamp. Uh, apparently nowadays you can get lamps from these. Uh, of course, I'm going to put it on Slayer because I can't train Slayer. But also a lot of other randoms have lamps added. So I'm going to be doing a lot more randoms and getting a lot more XP. So that's awesome. And so 20k backed plants later. Here we go. This should be it. 80. That is a hard fought level. Even though I have a better method, this still takes a long time. But yeah, that is all the time I had for now. I try to keep these videos a little shorter so I can put them out more regularly and you guys get a more regular upload so you guys don't forget that I exist and I'm still working on all those goals that I set out to do. So that's all I have for today. Next video won't be as long of a wait as this one was. Uh, but yeah, what a very special thank you to aka Roommate, Foggies, the Codotlar, Helpy Kellner, the Akbars, Faber, Atlas K, UIM Evan, Lepakaloi, Andros, Adrian Windrunner, Snockpole One, Lox, Unsliced, High Class Low Life 465, Ten Tilly, Loxins, Dynamite, Penguin Meat, Plom Cole, Jun Scullen, J Bulls, Akura Rimu, Kurnai, Kem T, Sam, X2 Light, JVH92, Cardo Sivadi, Charles Kelman, Apex Eternals, Renek, Ipsnius, Brandon Nielsen, Kalis, Ian Wire, Reese Bender, Zerno, Sidestar, Beshti, Yami Soba, Nosh, Drosnador, August Whitley, Slick Siri, Godbro, Sifu, Dakota Cheng, Ruby Shecklestein, Pratiotic Skull, Mitchell Chamberlain, Large Mocha, Ajix, Man I'm Too Good, Player 8, Sean the Sheep, Atsusagi, Tumble, Timothy Bezelli, Arthur Sengen, Christopher Sainz, and Redrit. As well as the other channel members you can see on screen right now. Thank you, see you in the next one.